Okay, so if you have an Apple iPhone, most, most people do, um, then you're gonna use, probably use AirDrop. If you don't have an Apple iPhone, you're probably gonna either bring a cable and connect it so that you can use image capture to move files from your phone to the computer, or if you go down to the share menu, I'm gonna skip past this uh, and go to more, you should have an option to see that Google Drive right there. Um, connect it to your Google Drive for your school account. So you would upload it to your Google Drive and then you would see it on your computer. Um, however, this tutorial is more about the um, AirDrop. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit AirDrop and go forward with this process. Uh, you'll see all the devices in the room. It can be pretty chaotic. Generally, the closest device is gonna show up in the upper left-hand corner. But when 40 computers are on, there's a possibility you're gonna see a lot of movement. So you need to know what that um, computer name is, and this is MHS VDF37F05. Uh, that's the computer that I'm working with right now. Uh, and I'll show you in a little bit where that's gonna go and then where you can go to find out what your computer name is so that you know where to send the file. So I'm just gonna push on that button and you'll hear this little beep. I'm gonna switch over to the camera so that you can see what I'm seeing. You'll get this uh, prompt up in the top and you can either decline it or accept it. Um, try not to save it to photos. It just opens up in a different protocol. Just save it to downloads. And you will see it just popped up right here in my downloads folder, which along the side navigation, you'll always see that when you open up the Mac HD, which is this icon right here. So Mac HD opens to that window. You should always be able to navigate to downloads so you can figure out where it is. Um, sometimes it shows up at the bottom too. Um, so that's pretty much all you need to know to do it. Um, if you don't know which computer is yours, it used to be up here. It may be printed on the computer. Um, and if it's not, uh, the best way to find it is to click on this Beaverton uh, information window. And this lets you see information about uh, the computer. And that's right there is the computer name. So that's how you're going to track down the computer that you're trying to send it to. That's all you need to know to um, use AirDrop. And like I said, if you're using iOS's, there are other routes to get the file from your camera to your computer. One direct cable connection with image capture, the other one would be to use um, Google Drive and connect it to your school drive.